everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'd like to extend a special welcome to my loyal subscribers and returning viewers to whom I'm always grateful to as your support goes a long way. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos, I make airline reviews and showcase my travels to you. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram for up to the minute reels and pictures of my travels. As always, sit back, relax and enjoy this video as I bring you through another journey from my home in Tasmania. Hello everyone, welcome to Hobart International Airport. Uh, today we'll be travelling up to Melbourne on Virgin Australia flight VA1321. You should know the drill by now, typical 737-800 flight, 59 minutes, pretty cruisy. Um, uh, we'll be travelling in Economy X and for those of you that don't know, that's Virgin Australia's premium economy fare which gives you a bit more legroom. Uh, you spend a bit more money for it but I think it's a uh, good value for your money. Uh, but I was not supposed to be on this flight at all. I was actually supposed to be on a flight last night out of Hobart straight to Brisbane. But that flight was cancelled by Virgin, so here I am. Um, but that's not a problem because at least we get to fly more this way. And um, hopefully uh, it should be all good. I just want to watch the way Virgin Australia handles this whole delay and compensation and things like that. Uh, but we'll see how things go for now uh, and uh, let's go to Melbourne so come with me and uh, let's board uh, our flight up to Melbourne and uh, hopefully we'll get there in one piece here comes the aircraft this morning Victor Hotel dash Yankee Whiskey Delta a 5.7 euro Virgin Australia 737-800 with eight business class seats and 168 economy class seats it's nicknamed Tina Miracuna, which is the Palawakani name for the Macquarie River that flows through Tasmania's east, and it's operating the Melbourne to Hobart turnaround this morning. Welcome to seat 3F. This is an economy class seat with generous legroom and a storage pouch. Depending on where you're flying, you could expect to pay about $50 if you'd like to book this seat.
Virgin Australia's Buy On Board menu features decent options to choose from. With a 50 minute jaunt across the ocean, you're probably not going to want to buy anything on this sector, but as for me, after a 14 hour delay, I was absolutely famished. So I ordered this chicken salad sandwich and washed it down with some orange juice. All in all, it was a fantastic culinary experience. For your convenience, there's two bathrooms for the 168 economy class passengers in the rear of the plane located just in front of the galley. I found the bathroom to be well stocked with hand soap, a diaper changing station and plenty of toilet paper and towels. It also had decent legroom. I also found it to be clean with a functional sink. All economy class seats also feature a three-way adjustable headrest. To access Virgin Australia's in-flight network, simply connect to the Virgin Australia network on your Wi-Fi and then proceed to the app and head straight to the in-flight entertainment section. There's plenty of TV shows and movies for you to choose from. It's also really nice that they have recommendations for what you should watch if you're on a rather short flight. As we're landing shortly, let's conclude our flight. Aspects of the flight that I really liked are the good ground management at Hobart International Airport and the excellent crew and meal service. I also liked that the lavatory was in a good condition. I didn't like the fact that Virgin Australia cancelled my flight the night before without any reason and had a rather rude and clueless representative pick up the phone and to sort out my flights. Also, the plane wasn't exactly the cleanest and could definitely use with a bit of a vacuum. Alright, so having considered my check-in, my meals, service, seat, in-flight entertainment and the lavatory condition, each of these having a maximum of 5 possible points, Virgin Australia gets an average combined total of 9.2 out of 10 for this flight. I want to add here that this trip report is part of a much bigger itinerary. Unfortunately, things didn't go according to plan with Virgin Australia disrupting several aspects of the itinerary. While the disruptions haven't impacted my individual flight experiences and I stand by the rating I've awarded this flight VA1321, I'm disappointed with how this itinerary was absolutely butchered. Stay tuned as I explain what happened in my upcoming videos. Remember, if you're new to my channel, your support and encouragement goes a long way. I'm a Tassie based content creator working hard to build my channel to give you information on airlines in and around Australia. I'm aiming to reach 1,000 subscribers by the year end and the only one that can make that possible is you. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more pictures and reels of my travels. Drop a comment and let me know what you think. It's been a pleasure bringing you through this flight. Have a pleasant day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.
38 degrees. Please keep your seatbelt fastened and the hours and exits clear until the seatbelt time.